the thing you talked about first before we get to Miami, Houston's next five games. Because we don't know what the situation is with Chris Paul. We just know we left with a hamstring. But you guys know how hamstrings are, and yes. that's not an overnight kind I heard of thing. For a 34, 35-year-old. Yeah. yeah. So Saturday at home against the Spurs. Tuesday at home against the Thunder. Thursday at home against the Celtics. That's game, that game's on uh, TNT. Saturday at New Orleans and Monday against Memphis. So those are the next at home? five games. Yeah, Monday. So four of the five at home? Four of the five at home. Three and two. That's best case scenario. Best case scenario. I think two and three is their best case scenario. Without Chris Paul. Without Chris, without Chris Paul. They are 0-5 this season when he doesn't play. I say they're one and four without Ooh. Chris Paul. Oof. Ernie, Chris Paul brings... As great as, and I've said this before, I think Chris Paul's been the best leader in the NBA in the last 10 years, in my personal opinion. And he gives James that confidence. Uh, he pumps James up. I Every, think he gives him space. And, but no, I think. And I, rest. I think he's like a, 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 a champion boxer's corner man. That's what, he pumps James. Uh, he like, you can see him yelling at James at times, like, blah, blah, blah. And I think they really going to miss Chris Paul. I, I, I will say this. The X factor will always, in my opinion, be Air Gordon. When Air Gordon is scoring and shooting and being able to space the floor, to me, the Rockets are a different player. He's just been too inconsistent. But when he's on, without Chris Paul, I think he can pick up a little bit of that slack. Houston is now 16 and 15. You know when, you know when they lost their 15th game last year? Probably in Fe March. February. April 1st. Really? Wow. No wow. fooling. No fooling. Uh, and, and really quickly on Miami, as, as we talked about the Western Conference and how deep. Uh, hold on with the music for just one second, if you would. Uh, <laughs> Wait, did y'all just interrupt the Godfather? That's a good way to get can fired I, around I here. Right? here? <laughs> hey, you're going to start packing. Hey, you can, can make I, fun of my glasses. <laughs> you can talk about <laughs> right. You can cannot interrupt. Don't interrupt the Godfather. I got an Emmy acceptance, you know, here comes the music. So, so Miami, uh, when you look at the West and you're saying, hey, it goes, it goes 14 deep. In the East, it's not going 14 deep. I mean, you look at here and you say, well, unless Washington really picks it up, right. it, you're looking at 10 teams right now for those eight spots. And Miami and Orlando right now are tied. Brooklyn's been playing great. They've won seven in a row. But unless Washington makes some kind of a move. They are making a move. They're going to get my boy fired. They stick it up the joint. <laughs> uh, Ernie, first of all, I don't know, the, the, the East is irrelevant. The East is a four-team race. Well, it doesn't mean it's irrelevant. Well, well, I'm just telling you. You don't think the Toronto Raptors have a chance to win the NBA fight? They do. Oh, that's right. No, I'm talking about so there's, the there's four teams in the East that have a legitimate shot of winning. Toronto? Them. A Philly, Philly, Boston, and Milwaukee. How about Indiana? No Indiana? No, no Indiana. Indiana has a no, shot. No, just because you're from there. Indiana don't win has the a East? shot. Indiana they has a, a shot to get to the conference final. They do. Ooh. Come on, stop it, Ernie. They have a, I mean, stop it, Reggie. They have a shot I to love Oladipo. He's my guy. I love Depot right as a bonus. They, they, they need a little more. Like, like what? What scares you on some of these other teams? Well, Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons, and 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 Butler. Jimmy Butler. This is Jimmy Butler. The same Indiana team with no changes. It was the same team that should have beat LeBron in Cleveland last Look, year. You know, LeBron's not in Cleveland anymore. No, I'm saying they should have beat him in the first round last year. Hey, let me tell you something. They played Cleveland this year, they'll beat him. <laughs> but they're well, not going to beat either. the Sixers, no, Milwaukee, or you Toronto. Can't, you, you can't look over Indiana. I'm just telling. Okay, well, well we got to see. Let's watch your numbers in the Raptors. We'll see. Hey, let's watch your numbers in the Raptors.